One of Dad's favourite Alakazam effects ever was Triple Impact by Matt Ellison. Through performing it for years, Dad developed his very own handling and for the very first time, he's sharing it with you guys. Jen, yes. we're going to try and read your mind by using nothing else apart from a pack of cards. Inside here we've got all 52 cards, there are no jokers but all the cards are there. I'm going to turn my head, what I want you to do is cut the cards roughly in half and complete the cut for me. Okay. Just tell me when you're done. done yep, and take the top three cards, don't look at them just yet. Yep. Yes. Okay, and now what I want you to do is take a look at them and I want you to take the highest card. For this we'll use, aces will be low. Okay. Okay, but take the highest card in your hand. So if you've got an ace, that won't be the highest card. Yeah. Um, and place it in your back pocket. Got there. Yep, yeah. and either of the other cards put in your right hand trouser pocket and the other one in your left hand trouser pocket. All right, and then we'll get back to those cards in a moment. Now, I want you to follow that process again. I want you to cut the cards roughly in half and complete the cut. And once you've done that, take the top three cards, give them a little mix in your hands, and then hold them face down between your two palms. So when I turn around, I can't see anything. Just tell me when you're done. You've done it, brilliant, okay. So we don't need these, so we'll place these away. I'm going to turn my head again, but I want you to have a look at the cards in your hand, okay? So have a look at the cards in your hand. There's one thing I know for sure. You've either got three cards that are all black, three cards that are all red, two blacks, or two reds, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the colour that you have most of. Okay. Okay, so straight away I'm picking up black. So you've got either all black cards or a majority of black cards. If there is a red card there, just focus on it for me. Okay. Okay, there is a red card, yes? There is. Uh, it's a heart card. Mm -hmm. It's an even number. Yes. I think that's the eight of hearts. It is. If it is, just drop it down on the table. Yeah. Um, now you've got two black cards. Just uh, flick between them for me with your eyes. Just flick between them. Yeah. Okay, there's a club and a spade. There is. Okay, so let's go for the spade first. Okay. That is a pitcher card. It is. That's the jack, jack of spades. It is. It is, drop it down. And your club card's a number card. Yep. Lowish number. Uh, odd number. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the five of clubs, if, if I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Well Dad's version now takes this from a brilliant closer to a superb performance piece. So remember, at the beginning, I asked you to place three cards into three random pockets, and you could have chose any cards you wanted. Now, before I came out tonight, I placed three cards in my pocket. The one I placed in my back pocket, my cards come from a blue back deck, but the one I placed in my back pocket was the King of Diamonds. What did you choose to put in your back pocket? Um, the King of Diamonds, that's one out of one. Yeah. Do me a favor, reach into your right hand trouser pocket for yeah. me. What card do you have in there? Seven of spades. The seven of spades, if I reach into mine, I also have the seven of spades, leaving just one card, reach into your left hand pocket. I have the ace of clubs, what do you have? Ace of clubs, well done. <laughs> and that's how we do mind reading. Good. So welcome to Triple Impact Collateral Damage.